Okay, here we are this morning taking a look at a beautiful four bedroom home in Terralago in uh, North Indio. This is a great home in a great community. Let's start with my traditional pan of the neighborhood. You'll see everything is newer homes here. The entire community is well landscaped. Uh, while construction may have halted in many areas of the desert, here at Terralago, there's still some spot construction going on. This is an area where there's at least a half a dozen homes that I can see being built, and maybe even a few more beyond. The street we're on here has very nice neighbors, great walking paths out in front of it, so if you want to take a dog out or go for a morning walk or jog yourself, and the home that I'm going to show you here is absolutely beautiful. Okay, this, this home has to be at least 2,500 square feet. I didn't bring my specs on it. It might be 3,000, but let's just work with the figure of 2,500. Do this archway as you come in. That's about a 10 foot tall brick facing an archway on the front of this home. Kind of done in a ranch style here, but with definitely some southwestern and maybe even old European flavor to it. Inside, you have these large marbles. Marble paver. No, that's not even not the right word. Um, it's tiled, but it's tiled with like large marble squares. Nicely polished, rich, dark brown leather furniture, ceiling fans. You'll have a couple of those through the place. A nice big screen TV. The lighting in here is excellent. There's a, a window going out the front there. I just forgot to take the time to open it. The rest of them are. That looks out onto your front lawn. In that area you have kind of a pass-through area there that uh, could be used as a pantry area. Going to the kitchen. This is your first room you come into as you enter the house. As you come this way, you have to the left a bathroom, a toilet and a sink, plenty of room, some place that you can freshen up or if you need it right as you come in. This would be the guest bathroom downstairs. You have, I'm going to take a quick glance here at the living room. You have the staircase going up. There's a large living room over there. Notice it, another ceiling fan, a large kitchen area. But I don't want to miss something here. So we're also going to touch on real quick two car garage, nice automatic garage door opener, everything clean, new, fresh. This entire room has been uh, uh, drywalled, so it's a finished garage. The cement is in an excellent condition. There's not even any stains to speak of. In there, you'll see a couple of things. These are still doing some blinds through the house. So you might see one other box of arm right upstairs. Um, this is not a room, but it's worth just a quick glance. Just some extra storage space underneath the, the staircase, but it's a big storage space. Now let's go take a look at where you're really going to want to spend time. How about this? This is your real living room. That other one, that was just your, your little living room. Kind of your, your one that you let people in if you just want to let them that far into your home. This is the one you're really going to sit back, relax, enjoy, move to the rear of the home, leave the city and your day's work behind, and just come here, relax, enjoy your TV. In the wintertime, maybe start up a fire. Be close to your loved ones, isolated away from the toils and foibles of daily life. Your kitchen right behind you, so if you're hungry and you like something to eat, you got a full gas burning stove and oven. You got a large microwave over the top, plenty of storage space in here. You got a, a double door fridge with the ice maker and water on it. Over there, you can kind of glimpse there's a dishwasher, plenty of counter space, a nice sink. You even have kind of an island here that's got a couple of chairs at it. I know where my kids would be eating. And then you've got more of a, a formal dining room area over there with a, a nice chandelier hanging down. Granite countertops all the way through this. Excellent cabinetry that's inside it. Plenty of space. The tile work that's done. Nice wide molding. This is a nice home. This is some place you would be proud to add to your portfolio of homes. Or if this is your only one, this is a real showpiece. You would love to have your in-laws over and show them how you're treating your wife in a place like this because everybody could look at this and say man life is good and then since we're downstairs let's go ahead and just take a glance out back you have a patio here that's cemented off texturized patio with it uh, nice barbecue down there at the end they just moved the uh, chairs back there will seat six people as you can see we have a nice table 
so it's not out to get the weathering but here you have a nice Royal King barbecue plenty of grill space on it a big lawn I can't remember if this owner is willing to uh, talk about pets but uh, if you had them there's some running space here and it's nicely fenced in too you have cinder block around here it's uh, capped off on the top it's a finished looking place nice backyard okay. or again maybe you just like keeping it to yourself and this is the sort of place you can have a, a fence around you keep the world away and you just have a little bit of seclusion and a paradise here in the desert a secure place to call home we're gonna go upstairs now take a look there's just a little bit of flowery artwork here kinda nice an oil painting I think that's not an oil painting, it looks like one. Four carpet upstairs. Let's, uh, we're going to start to our left. Okay. One of the guest bedrooms, queen size bed in here. Yeah, queen size. Again, dark wood furniture. Nice lighting in here. I didn't turn on any of the lights. See if they, now you have to do it at the lamps. Um, and just a, a decent sized closet. Okay. So you got room to hang your stuff. You do have a window that opens up there. You look out onto the front area for a view. And a table there where you could put a TV on if you'd like. Here. Guest bedroom number two. Another window looking out. Another queen size bed. Similar lamps and tables. A little bit bigger closet. Maybe I can walk over this way on this one. Yeah, a little bit bigger closet. This one does have a TV, probably about a 25 or 30 inch TV. This way now, the bathroom. Upstairs, guest bathroom. You have a double vanity sink with a large mirror. Nice kind of wrought iron lighting over the top. We need one bulb put in. Here you have the uh, toilet and tub and shower combo with a separate door so that you can lock that for privacy. Since this home does have four bedrooms, you might have somebody else who wants to brush their teeth uh, while you're taking a shower. Upstairs laundry room. Okay, this is actually nice. First, when I saw this, I thought, man, I hope I don't have to carry that laundry, uh, that washer and dryer up here ever. But actually, having it so close to your bedroom where your clothes are. I think it's an added benefit. Queen size bed again, a nice table, another box of blinds that needs to go up there. As of course you can see this window does not have any. You look out, you do see the neighbor's houses, you look down into your own yard, and off in the distance you see the Indio Hills. So you do get some views around here. And then beyond, beyond the Indio Hills, the uh, little San Bernardinos. So you do have uh, some mountain views here. Now let's go take a look at the master bedroom. You have a little hall here, short little hall, separating it off as a more grand entrance. King size bed in here, keeping with the dark wood furnitures. Okay, uh, large walk-in closet. I think that was bigger than my first bedroom when I was a kid. Okay. Another circular fan, ceiling fan, TV in here, the bathroom, double vanity sink, two tiered countertop on it, a large deep soaking tub, separate shower area. You have blinds here right by the tub, so you know, if you're into a little bit of voyeurism, you can open it up. Um, maybe you just want to do it enough to let some light in here so you can enjoy a book. Um, here you have the toilet area again with another door. Yours truly. Hey, how y'all doing? Now here I thought I'd just show this to you also. This is kind of nice. Here you have blinds, so you can have privacy. But if you really want to open it up, you have a big patio that's all your own off the master bedroom. This kind of creates for you your own personal little retreat where you have somewhere to go 
you can sit out here and just enjoy the morning as you can see we're in shade right now it's about 15 to 11 be a nice place to just have a cup of coffee if you want to do do that read the paper uh, maybe you're just not ready to go down and attack the day and you don't answer your phones until you go downstairs kind of faint in the distance in the distance more because of today's weather on a better day you would see it even stronger yeah, it's not really pulling up but there's Mount San Jacinto in the distance That's kind of nice. If it were a clear day, it's a little bit, uh, uh, not overcast, but uh, there's some mist in the air, some, some dust or something. Uh, there are big clouds on top of it. A hazy, that's the word I'm looking for. It's a hazy kind of day. On another day, you'd see Mount San Jacinto as clear, as you can see those over there. Maybe even clearer. Let's go back in. If we go back through the property, We'll quickly go downstairs through the master bedroom out into its little grand entry hall down the stairs and on to the living room and the kitchen area and this could be yours this is a great home. If you get a chance to live here, you should jump at it. I'm Eric Meeks, and I want to thank you for your time. Bye-bye.